At the busy tourist draw of Kensington Market, a person in a wheelchair faces barrier after barrier. Hey, how's it going? Something Luke Anderson is working on from the outside looking in. I was wondering if you guys might be interested in, uh, in, in getting a deployable access ramp. At Tom's place, he was redirected to another door, which clearly hadn't been opened in a while. That's the step here. That Unfortunately, it's it's too much of a step for me. Okay. They yeah. say their contractor assured them it was accessible, then suggested they could bring clothes outside. Anderson has another idea. A stopgap ramp, a simple custom-made wooden ramp that can be deployed when needed. Anderson points out the city isn't close to being barrier-free as it welcomes Para Pan Am athletes and spectators. They won't be able to get into every restaurant, so that's uh, it's a disappointing thing. While his foundation is on its own, in some U.S. cities before a major event, they blitz local businesses, educating them on accommodating people with disabilities. Before the Games, Toronto 2015 hosted a conference for interested businesses. 175 signed up. To give you an idea, there are about 8,000 restaurants alone in Toronto. We have a long way to go. He says businesses that get it are reaping the rewards in goodwill and increased revenue. It's not like a huge deal to get it put out there for us, but it can make a really big difference to a lot of people. Something the owner of Tom's was eager to have us come back and discuss when told Anderson had stopped and, by. Uh, we're offering businesses uh, a, a customized ramp to suit the step. I would love to have that. Thank Excellent. you very much. Okay. And then maybe that I can sell you some shirts. I'd love, I'd love to visit your Thank store. You. It's a great area and everybody should be able to come. We definitely failed at that and I apologize and I'm sorry to everybody but we'll, we'll make the change. So it's a priority now? It's priority number one. Anderson says an influx of Para Pan Am athletes and spectators will open the eyes of business owners. That's where the real change is going to happen, and, and I'm excited about that. Christina Stevens, Global News.